Hey everybody, it's Teenage Code, and if you're new to Godot, then you may have some questions about how to adjust some of the Godot settings. So in this video, I'll go over some of the most common and important ones. Starting off with the window size, if you go to Project, Project Settings, and then scroll down under Display, you should see a window. Click on it, and from there, you can adjust the window size and make your game higher or lower resolution. You can also mess around with some of these settings, like Full Screen and Always on Top. Additionally, you can go down to the stretch settings and change how the window will resize as it's stretched. There's great documentation on how this stuff works, but typically you'll want to set it to 2D mode and ignore the aspect ratio. When you're making a game, you often want to check if the player has pressed a button. The easiest way to do this is to use input.isKeyPressed and to pass a key constant for your desired key press. This method has a few problems though, like what if we want to change which key should be pressed, or what if you want the mouse button to be pressed instead, or what if you want to be an all-inclusive game dev and add support for controller buttons and stuff too. All of this is solved with the input map in Godot. Basically, you can assign a whole bunch of events, like mouse clicks and keyboard presses to a single action, and by calling input.isActionPressed, you can check if any one of those events are being pressed. Additionally, you can alter input actions through code so you can have customizable controls and stuff. The input map is kind of in a weird spot. To get to it, you can go to Project, Project Settings, and then switch over to the Input Map tab. You can create new actions by naming them and pressing the Add button, and then you can add events to those actions. Sometimes you may want to have certain bodies and areas not interact with each other. For example, if you have a character, you'll probably want it to interact with and detect the world so that it doesn't fall through. But you might not want it to interact with the enemies, and instead have an Area 2D node that will detect only the enemies and tell the player to die when it does so. The way we do all of this is by having input layers and masks. Think about it like the radio. There are 20 different channels that a body or area can be on. The world is the first channel, or layer 1, the player is on the second channel, or layer 2, and the enemy is on the third channel, or layer 3. The player and enemy bodies both need to interact with the world, so they want to listen to channel 1, or set their mask to 1. The player's area node that checks for the enemy wants to listen for the enemy, so its mask will be set to 3, or the layer that the enemy is on. Additionally, since the area node itself shouldn't be interacted with, it won't be on a channel, so its mask can actually be set to nothing. Likewise, you can also set layers and masks to be on more than one channel at the same time. You can give each layer a unique name by going to Project, Project Settings, and scrolling down to 2D Physics. From there, you can name the layers and save the project to see your custom names when hovering over the layers. When you create a project for the first time, and you try to start it, the project will ask you if you want to set the main scene to the current one. But what actually is the main scene? Well, it's just the first scene that gets loaded in the game, so you usually want to set it to the main menu or home screen. To change the main scene, go to Project, Project Settings, and then click at the top where it says Run. You will see the main scene option, and you can change it to any scene in your project. This is useful to know how to do if you make a game first and then add in the pre-game user interface stuff like a main menu. One last cool thing you can do is change the boot screen, or the screen that shows while your project is loading. This is in the project settings in Boot Splash. You can adjust the background color or change the image entirely. Hey everybody, it's Teenage Code, and this is the outro. Please leave a like or something. Bye.